Welcome to another video. Back on the content grind, it is absolutely freezing out here. I have a coat and a jumper on, and this is kind of like, no, I don't do that. It's not normal. Um, got a couple of things I want to talk about before we get into the main point of today's video. So, you would have seen in a couple of videos ago, insert clip. We did a, a couple of flybys after installing the subwoofer in the Corsa. Now, a couple of updates on that. A, I've kind of fixed the radio, not really, sort of. Um, I found out it just needs an ignition wire, um, the plug that goes into the big multi plug, like, so the Halford's adapters that you get for the double din and single din stereos. Um, the Voxel one, for whatever reason, the ignition pin isn't in, so I've had to tape the ignition and signal wire together. Um, which it's not the end of the world, um, just not ideal. So I need to get the ignition, um, just little clip thing. It literally presses straight in. I did it for my Fiesta one, um, which good news, the Fiesta should be on the road soon because uh, matey that I sold it to has passed his driving test. So it's gonna be good to see that car on the road. Um, however, uh, the subwoofer, for whatever reason, after I fixed the radio issue, is um, now about 7,000 times more bassy. Uh, videos don't really do it justice but take my word for it it is pretty crazy what we've managed to get it up to golf gti nice um but yeah i've got a couple of things that i've actually ordered for the Corsa, literally just now so if you come here and then onto the Corsa, you'll see around the indicator here you have this chrome strip and this like textured effect here that's ugly, I hate it. There's not a lot of chrome elsewhere on the car. The seals here, they're all black. Um, you know, th there's not a lot of chrome on the car. The only other thing that used to be chrome on the car are these fog lights around that are no longer chrome because someone sprayed them black, but I need to redo it. You can see there's some chips in here. Uh, not ideal, but it's gonna be redone. However, I'm so pissed off of that and the very, very, very standy out chrome that I've actually ordered a set of gloss black carbon fiber ones. So the chrome bit will be made a gloss black which put, ties in perfectly with the uh, indicator repeaters um, and then this like textured bit here is a carbon fiber effect so that should show up soon I've also ordered stripes to go on the car now I don't know how it's gonna look because I haven't seen a lot of these cars with stripes they're very Fiesta ST style in the sense that like if I was to own an ST one day I would love to have one that's white with blue stripes going front to back that's exactly what I want um, but I've ordered some stripes that start probably roughly here. There's two of them, they go right to the back of the car. Um, and I've actually gone with white. Um, and I plan on, uh, sorry, no, I plan on ordering that, but I have ordered the vent stickers as well. So on the VXRs, you've got vents front and rear. There's some here and there's some at the back of the car as well. Um, now I'm going to get these stickers. Uh, I've ordered them, so I'm just waiting for them to turn up. Uh, I've got a white set. Um, I think it would just be a little nice offset. The original plan with this car was to go red and gold. You can see from the Instagram sticker, shameless plug here, is gold on the side of the car. I'll have to get that redone in a, in a white color. Um, I think red and white, it's done a lot, but it's done a lot for a reason. It's nice, it looks good. And with gold, with these cars, there's not too much you can do. Also, I found a really, really nice set of uh, white bowler wheels that I would really like to stick on the car. The diamond cut snowflakes it's currently got on it do look gorgeous, but I'm a sucker for some bowlers and I would like a white set to go on this car. So if we're gonna go with white wheels, we might as well, might as well go with uh, white accents for the rest of the car. Um, and the last thing that we're gonna uh, look at ordering soon if you look on the top of the car there, there is the horrible, horrible aerial um, like shroud cover thing that has to go with a leaf next to it. <sighs> leaf it out. <laughs> um, however, what many, many people do to their modified cars nowadays is install a shark fin. Some cars come with them even standard. Um, but I'm going to get a shark fin aerial uh, insert photo up here um, that I'm just going to slap on there. I don't really use the radio much anyway. I'm always Bluetoothing off of my uh, stereo. Um, so yeah, those are the next couple of plans for the car. I don't know when they're going to be implemented. Um, I know that the uh, indicator repeats around and the vent stickers are going to be here within three to four days, weather dependent, because if you look around at a minute, it is soaking. And uh, we've actually got storm washing through in a minute, which 
which is not ideal. Uh, my journey home from work today was not fun. But um, getting a couple more things for the Corsa, considering she's kind of not been out of action because I've been driving her non-stop. But in terms of modifications, there's not been a lot that I've done. Um, and I just want to, I want to keep doing your bits now and then. Um, and hopefully, uh, I'll, I'll come a video soon of me and finally replacing the wheel bearing because it is humming its tits off. The rear left wheel bearing is crying for its life and really, really, really does need to be replaced. But that is the next thing on my list to order. Uh, I've, I've ordered the vent stickers and the indicators rounds, then the wheel bearing, and then we'll go into some more modifications. Um, also, Alex, a YouTuber that most of you will probably be familiar with, uh, I'm pretty sure he's got a hoodie that says modify before maintenance or something like that. Um, now, I'm a firm believer in that, but it's something that's got to get done because it is, it is getting very, very bad. But anyway, I'm going to stop waffling on. Let's get to the main point of this video, which is going to be the sound comparison. So again, just one more reminder. This is what my car used to sound like before in its standard form uh, before I mess with anything. Now, with the updated exhaust, which um, for those of you who aren't aware, um, before it was a it was a Sport X style. I don't know if it was a Sport X uh, back box, um, and it was straight through in the middle. There was no resonator, so, um, but I actually put the resonator back on the car. Um, it didn't come. I had to buy another resonator, but I put a resonator back on it, and it's now got a back box delete. So it is still louder than it used to be, um, but it's not droning, which is my main thing. Um, with this car considering I do a lot of motorway miles. So there you go, that is the end of today's video. I hope that kind of gives you some context into how the car sounds different. Now, watching those videos back and watching them back to back, I can kind of hear that they're, obviously it's very similar, it's the same engine, um, but I think the main difference is in the throatiness of it and obviously the pops. Um, before they, there was, right after with the subwoofer, there was a lot of overrun. That seems to have gone now. There's a lot more pop on shift. It sounds insane. Um, and I've also figured out how to get it to pop when I rev now. Um, and it just it just sounds awesome. But in conclusion, I would say it is a lot better as it is. There is still some minor sound changes I'd do. I'd get it a little bit louder if I could. Not too loud, though, because, you know, Motorway Miles drone is not, it's not fun. Um, but I'm absolutely in love with the car. Um, it's been pristine for me at the minute. Like I said, it's done Newcastle for me. So I really can't complain too much. Um... But yeah, the car's been awesome. Um, I hope that guys give shows. You... I hope that shows you guys sort of what the car is like uh, sound wise now. Um, I think like, again, I think it sounds absolutely awesome. And watching those videos back for the first time, hearing the pops is it just insane. Especially the one right after the um, when I was trying to do the pull in second gear, <laughs> I just had no traction whatsoever. Um, the pa pa sounded amazing. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, don't forget to like and subscribe down below. Uh, leave a comment what you would like to see <clears throat> uh, as heading into the winter months. Filming, filming these sorts of videos are going to be kind of difficult. Um, as you saw today, caning it down with rain. We've actually got a storm rolling through my area at the minute. Um, so it was, it was very wet. And I think it kind of doesn't do it justice how it does sound because of the... Um, you know the the first videos we filmed was in the dry so it was slightly different um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video if you did enjoy 
uh, I keep saying things and forgetting that I say them. I will see you guys in the next video. Um, this, I'm very, very lucky I've managed to record a video during this week. Um, because that means I can have one for this Sunday and film a video this Sunday to come out next Sunday. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.